BricksCAD has come a long way since we talked about it last in the channel. So I wanted to share my top 10 features for architects and designers in 2025. What's going on team? My name is David Tomage. I'm a registered architect here in Western Australia, and we're gonna dive straight into it with the biggest and baddest feature of them all, the price. Besides from BricksCAD being the sponsor of today's video, they have incredible pricing on their products, which seriously makes you question if you're going to continue subscriptions for other CAD software. So if we look at a quick breakdown, AutoCAD costs almost $3,000 a year. Revit and ArchiCAD cost well over four and a half thousand, closer to $5,000 a year. Whereas BricsCAD, you can get it for as little as $505, all the way up to the full suite, that's mechanical, civil, architectural, everything for $1,730. So we're literally talking about half the price of its competitors. That's why I've put it at number one on this list. Before we move on to the rest of the features, I just wanna point out that I've tested the BricsCAD Ultimate Edition. So some of these features may not be available to you. Moving forward, what's important to architects and designers is speed and accuracy. That's why the feature Bimify in BricsCAD is just an incredible piece of tech. Some might even consider it a small token of AI. You see, what Bimify does is it takes your uncategorized model analyzes the entire thing and then automatically classifies every single element, provides its exact location and incorporates metadata. Now, if you've ever worked on a BIM project and had to go through and classify items, this could take weeks, days, months. It just depends who modeled the original project. So by literally going into BricsCAD, going into the BIMify menu, hitting the button and letting BricsCAD do all of the work for you, you can have this task done in a matter of minutes. What makes this feature even more impressive is it will automatically create sections and elevations as well as plan views of your model based on what it thinks you require. Now, personally for me, that feature is still early days and it needs a little bit more fine tuning before it's incredible. But as a starting point, it's an awesome idea. BricsCAD's block library might be a feature that you'll be overlooking. It's a standard block library, you know, there's not much exciting to it, but a good block library can make or break a template. By having an exceptional block library by default out of packaging, it means you can move forward with your projects so much easier. Once you're comfortable with the software, you can go ahead and add your own blocks and add to the library so it's uniquely yours. As part of the block library, there is another awesome feature called Blockify. There's a bit of a trend going on here if you haven't noticed. Blockify allows you to highlight and select geometry in your project and then it will automatically find the same geometry. Now, we're all used to the find and select tools, which you can categorize by line types, colors, pens, and weights, but to be able to find the exact same geometry could save a lot of time. For instance, I know every time I import a survey data set, there is all of the survey data points where the surveyors actually track the land and I have to go through and delete all of them because they're just excessive information I don't need. So to be able to highlight one small section of that and let the software do the rest is incredibly time-saving. For those of you paying attention, BricsCAD just released version 25.2, which in the 25 release, it came with some major UI overalls, including customized productivity tabs for each individual discipline. There's one for 2D drafting, 3D modeling, BIM, and of course, your mechanical workspaces. Now, I don't know about you guys, but for me personally, a new UI is just as nice as any new feature. That's because we use software every single day. We use it for years and years and years on end. And often we're just looking at the same set of icons, the same color palette. It's all much the same throughout the day. So when all of a sudden we get a UI update where it's completely different or a color change, icon change, even something just super small, it brings the nerd inside me a little bit of joy to be working on a new software or at least something that appears new. So a new UI update in 25 is an exceptionally welcome feature for me. If for whatever reason you don't like the new modern UI, in BricsCAD you can come up to the top right hand corner and change back to the classic UI at any time. So if you're familiar with the classic, it's quick and easy to change back. Now BricsCAD is incredible at 2D work. 
It's got amazing 3D components in it, don't get me wrong, but the 2D element of Bricks CAD is next level. If you've been using AutoCAD for a long time, Bricks CAD is a serious competitor for you. And with version 25, it's brought some even better improvements. So in this update, we see enhancements of the trim, the hatch, the mirror, and the scale tools. Now, if I'm being completely honest, these features should have come a long, long time ago. But nevertheless, they're still a welcomed addition because it makes documenting in 2D just that little bit easier. There are a couple unique features to BricsCAD which are awesome in the 2D drafting space. For instance, Copy Guided allows you to select elements like windows and doors and automatically copy them to identical walls and line structures. Similarly, we can use Move Guided to automatically reposition doors and windows without having the need of cleaning up existing 2D lines. Talking about cleaning up existing 2D lines, Drawing Health in BricsCAD is an incredible feature. You see, all you have to do is open up the Drawing Health Manager tool and it will automatically scan your entire file, looking for mistakes such as lines that aren't connected or elements that aren't being used in the project. The Drawing Health Manager can really reduce the file size, making your projects quicker, cleaner, and more user-friendly. If you've never used BrickScad before, then you probably don't know it's based on a command system, very similar to AutoCAD or Rhino. But often we're typing in so many commands and trying to figure out new ones that we forget what we've actually typed in. So even though command history is a subtle improvement, it is something that you will find value in and something that I find value in as an architect looking to use BricsCAD for complicated projects and modeling. This is where BricsCAD really starts to stand out for me. Point cloud data in BricsCAD is absolutely best in class. If you've ever tried to import point cloud data into Revit or ArchiCAD, it just doesn't matter how good your computer is, it is always going to be a little bit slow, a little bit glitchy, a little bit challenging to use that data. Whereas because BricsCAD's point cloud data software has been built from the ground up to specifically communicate with the exact tools the surveyors are using on the ground, it imports this data without even having to interpret it or load it. So the second you drag and drop your point cloud data into BricsCAD, it's automatically there, ready for you to go. And in a matter of seconds, BricsCAD will automatically turn your point cloud data into a massing so that you can utilize the generic shapes and start working on your concepts and ideas. To take point cloud data to the next level, point cloud data in BricsCAD is geo-referenced. Now, if you have no idea what geo-referencing is, don't worry, I'll explain it right now. Every single project that is surveyed in the real world has its own geo-coordinates, latitude, longitude, you know, like a general map. So when we import it into BricsCAD, we then have to ensure that geolocation is set up correctly so that when we go back to export our data to our engineers, to our surveyors, or back to the live construction team, that geo-reference data is gonna make it so much easier for them to utilize the information, especially when it's for a surveyor back on site. Now, if you're thinking, why is georeference data so critical? Well, here in Australia, georeferencing is critical on almost every single government job. So if you're looking to work with governments and government departments, georeferencing is gonna be the start of every single project and the end of every single project. So if it isn't right, it's just gonna cause you an absolute headache. Talking about sharing data between consultants, not only is BricsCAD amazing at point cloud data, it is now IFC4 certified. IFC4 allows individual CAD software to talk to each other. So it doesn't matter what software you're on and what you're modeling in, you can communicate and collaborate. It's the way forward because not every engineer is gonna be on Revit. Not every architect is gonna be on ArchiCAD. We're all gonna have different software that we each personally love to use. So when the time comes, we can still collaborate with our favorite consultant. We don't have to find new ones that are on the same system as us. IFC 4 is a step up from IFC 2x3, and it basically takes information sharing to the next level. It ensures accuracy of our data being exported, as well as the conversion of information from one software to another. One of the most critical elements in conversion is layering, because architectural models get very large very quickly, and when a consultant is importing it, they might not need all of our information. So if I send my drawings to a mechanical engineer, for example, they might just want the external internal walls and the slabs. So they can go ahead, turn off all the excessive layers, 
and import just what they need, rather than having to import the whole model and delete parts that they don't require. Last but not least is the Google Earth data interpretation. So now BricsCAD has the ability to import and export KLM and KMZ data files. If you've never used Google Earth data before, that's because you probably haven't worked on large scale projects, which require a little bit of collaboration, most likely with the government. So by utilizing these KML and KMZ files, we can find perimeter data, for example, directly from Google Earth, understand our exact boundaries, drag and drop it into BricsCAD, create our massing and our modeling, and then re-import it into Google Earth so that people can see it visually in a greater surrounding context. Now, I did reach out to BricsCAD to find out if you could actually export 3D data from BricsCAD into Google Earth because this is something I've had to do in the past and it is incredibly valuable when you're trying to articulate the bulk and scale of a building in its suburban context. Google Earth has incredible 3D mapping and when you turn that on and place your building into it, you can see it almost as if it were built. This helps people understand bulk, scale, placement, character, all sorts of things. But unfortunately, BricsCAD hasn't got that feature just yet, hopefully in the not too distant future. Anyway, that's all for me today, team. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. And like always, I'll see you next week.